Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna to be dyeing my hair pink. I did a hair toning video not that long ago. Um, I'll link it in case you haven't seen it, but I tried a brand new product. Um, and yeah, I used the toner, absolutely loved it. It's been a month. I still think it looks really good, but I asked you guys if you thought I should try doing a different color and you guys convinced me to do it. So today I'm gonna to be trying pink. Um, it's it's semi-permanent, so it doesn't really matter. But um, the product I'm gonna use is called Shrine. Exactly the same one as I used last time. Um, so I actually really loved it. I think it lasted really, really well, to be honest. I still think it looks really kind of like nice and icy. Annoyingly, <laughs> I ordered this and then I found out they released another color. They actually now do a silver as well, um, which I'm gonna try next. So if you haven't seen my last video, just really briefly, Shine is like a semi-permanent color and basically you just order the dye and you mix it in with any kind of conditioner. So the reason I like it is because you can customize your color. So it comes in a little bottle like this, has like a little pipette dropper thing and you can basically put as many drops in as you want and get any of these kind of shades. So you can very much kind of trial, error, um, experiment, find what kind of colors you want. So really, really simply, you can either buy the kit that comes with the bowl. I got the bowl last time, so I, it's cheaper if you just buy the dye. But actually, because I have very long, thick hair, I just have a mixing bowl because I needed more conditioner and like more dye to cover the whole of my head. And one tip I would say is definitely make enough mix to do your whole hair. Because if you do two batches, you could potentially get two very slightly different colors. So I just have like a little mixing bowl. I have like a little spatula to kind of mix it up. Um, and all I'm gonna do is basically pour some conditioner in there, put however many drops I want in the bowl. You have to dampen your hair. I forgot to dampen my hair last time before I did it, but you're meant to dampen your hair. And then basically all you do is you put the kind of conditioner dye mix on your hair and you just leave it on for 10 minutes and then rinse it off and it's that simple. Um, so I'd say it probably lasts around a month. I wash my hair like every three days and it lasted, a, well, it's still like pretty toned to be honest. So I don't know, like around a month I'd say, for me anyway, everyone's hair type is different. Um, you have to do a patch test as well. So, I've literally got no idea. I am gonna be doing a strand test really quickly. So I'm just gonna pour my conditioner in here. It has little markings on the side of the bowl to say how much I've poured in so I can kind of tell you guys. Oh, come on now. Right, I've not got it open. That's probably, that's probably why I didn't come out. So last time I got a really cheap conditioner to do this, which I think works fine. But one thing I'd say is make sure the condition is white because last time my conditioner was blue and I didn't realize because um, I bought it specifically to dye my hair. And it's really difficult to mix the color when the conditioner already has that coloring in it. That's how much I've got in that. That says that it's approximately half a pint slash about 300 mil of conditioner I've put in there just to make sure I have enough to cover. I don't even, I might do a little bit more actually. I'd just rather have too much than too little because I don't want to be mixing more dye halfway through like I did last time. Okay, so there's more like 400 milliliters in there now. That may be a little bit too much, but like I said, I'd rather be cautious. Um, another reason I really like the idea of this as well, it's actually um, a lot more environmentally friendly to do this and also cost effective. Can't remember exactly how much this was. I'll leave it linked down below in case you guys wanted to try it. But I think it was about like 12 pounds for one color. Um, but you're only using, well, it depends how much of a pigment you want in your hair. You're only using a small amount of this bottle. So I'm probably gonna only use a few drops. So this is gonna last me a really, really long time. So it's a really cost effective way to do it um, and really easy to be able to customize it as well. You can mix the colors. I have loads of different colors, like blues, purples, greens. You can like obviously mix them with each other, make your own colors. You can do rainbow hair. They have a toning kit. They have the silver now. Um, so yeah, loads of different options to choose from. So I'm just gonna start by putting four drops in my conditioner here. Right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
two, three, three, come on. Four. Right, okay. The dye is actually quite red, so I'm just gonna go and mix this in really, really well. Um, and yeah, basically you can literally just strand test. So what I'm gonna do now, I'll do it off camera. Um, I'm gonna just dampen a piece of my hair, um, put the dye in for like 10 minutes and literally just do a strand because I don't want it to be too pink. I'm gonna put up a photo on the screen of um, one of their Instagram posts that I, is kind of like the, the basically the kind of color I'm going for. So I want like more of a, a very subtle pink tint to my hair rather than full on pink. Um, I want it to kind of still look a little bit blondy with a pink tinge to it. So I think in that photo they used four drops, but I think I might be using a little bit more conditioner than what they've used in doing my hairstyle. So I don't know. Anyway, so that's what it's looking like. How cute is that color? They do a peach as well, by the way. So if you like more of a kind of peachy, this literally looks like angel delight. That's what it looks like. Um, so what was I saying? I'm gonna go do my strand test now. I think what I was gonna say was that, um, obviously if you do your strand test and it's too pink, you can just add more conditioner in. Um, and then obviously if it's not pink enough, you can add more drops in and just customize it. So I'm gonna go try and perfect, do a strand test. I'm gonna choose one from like underneath in case it turns out really horrible. Um, but yeah, I'll let you know the exact mix I did. Okay, so I finally have my color all mixed up. So I did four drops, did a strand test, it definitely wasn't dark enough, did another four drops, wasn't dark enough, did some more drops, wasn't dark enough, um, so I've basically in total put 16 drops in there because I think I have about four times the amount of conditioner in here than you would put in the normal kind of pot. So it's very pink. I've not actually strand tested this because I've gotten bored of strand testing. Um, so like doing this is so, so easy, but I just find it frustrating doing the strand test. That's literally all. Um, so once you know what color you like, or if you're just really brave, just go for it. Um, then it's so quick and easy, but obviously like just doing the strand test and going backwards and forwards can be a little bit tedious. Um, so yeah, um, I've got on, I've got to say at the beginning, I've just got on a like black kind of rough t-shirt and I've just got some towels on the floor. I've just actually dampened my hair and I'm ready to go. So I'm just going to section this out. I've got like a little clip and I'm just going to literally put it on my hair. Um, yeah, so I'm probably going to time lapse this bit, otherwise it's going to be very long and boring for you guys. Probably going to move the camera as well. Okay, right. I'm going to go for it. Okay, so that is all of the dye in. I definitely made too much, but I kind of used it all anyway. And I probably should have put gloves on, but you live and you learn. Um, so I'm gonna leave this on for 10 minutes now. Then 
all you have to do is just rinse it you're not meant to put any like shampoo or anything like that on it just like rinse it with warm water and i will check back in with you guys once i'm out of the shower so i'm out of the shower it's still very very wet so i don't really know what the color is exactly like um it's getting a little bit late on so i'm gonna really quickly dry it i'm actually meant to be jumping on like a zoom call with some friends in a bit so I think I'm gonna really quickly dry it now, show you guys, and then tomorrow morning I'm gonna properly style it and show you the proper after. Steve um, obviously hasn't seen it yet. Um, he saw me with the dye in. He was very pro me going pink. He thought it'd be really cool, but he's never ever seen me with anything other than blonde hair. So he's actually going to play on his game tonight with some friends, and he normally comes to bed later than me. So, and I normally get up a lot earlier than him, well at the moment anyway, I've gotten into this weird habit of getting up super early. So I am I said to him, I was like, I really wanna try and surprise you with it in the morning. So if I get up early, I'm gonna try and um, style it before he gets up and try and get his reaction, because I think it'd be really cool. But let me show you what, what I'm working with at the moment. I don't even really know. <laughs> so it doesn't look super pink at the top. All of my blonder bits was like, here down anyway so that's not unusual okay okay i think it looks i don't know i can't really tell yet it always looks like a complete different color or darker when it's wet anyway so i have my trusty revlon hair dryer brush here i'm gonna give it a really quick blast through with this to try and see what the actual color is like um one thing i love about the shrine stuff is because like when I was younger I used to dye my hair all the time and use really cheap like packet dyes and things like that couldn't really afford to go to the hair salon so I used to always do it at home and it literally wrecked my hair so I feel like I have a bit of phobia of like destroying my hair because it used to be in such awful awful condition like really brittle and short and just thin and horrible um but with this you're just it's like putting a conditioner mask on your hair like it's so nice and smooth my hair's normally a pain to like brush through when it's wet and it's quite for me this is quite like untangled so yeah last time i did this it made my hair feel so nice and soft after so if you're looking for a way to kind of like experiment with your hair a little bit but you don't want to damage it this is a really good option as much as I'm gonna dry it this evening because well partly because I'm lazy I'm a little short on time but it's mainly because I'm lazy so I'm gonna let the rest kind of dry naturally so it is still damp like I said I'm gonna show you it properly tomorrow when it's like fully dry and styled and everything but I think I'm gonna be really happy with the color actually I think it's gonna lighten a little bit more but from the inspo pick that I was looking at um, you could see a lot of the kind of blonde through so it's kind of like blonde and pink and I feel like you can still see the blonde it's just like a touch of pink it's nice and kind of subtle I mean I didn't want to go full-on bam bubblegum pink I just wanted like a little subtle touch also I let you guys know the other day that I actually started a new job so I thought going like hot pink in the first couple of weeks of a new job was like I don't know like maybe not the best idea so i'm just gonna hit him up with a bit of subtle pink instead but i think yeah so far i mean the lighting's not great it's getting a little bit dark outside so far i think i'm gonna be really happy with it but like i said i'm gonna check back in with you guys tomorrow Yeah, I think it looks really good. 
<laughs> it's not. Oh, the boys are kicking off. I know, I know. It's not anywhere near as like you know when you look at the serum and the conditioner and it's it looks like, like it's gonna be really dark. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's turned out lighter than I wanted it to, but <sighs> I think it's better to do it too like the first time. Yeah, for sure. I think it looks really good. Yeah. Yeah. Really like it on the tips. It looks a bit brighter on the tips. I thought you were gonna say tips. <laughs> Right guys, so now that it is daylight, I can show you. So, really, really subtle. So I did want to go a little bit darker than this. Um, like I said yesterday, I put so much conditioner in that bowl. So I literally did, I think it was like 400 milliliters of conditioner, which was way too much. Um, with, I think I did 16 drops, I think. Um, and yeah, it's super, super subtle. It's just like a pink tint. Next time, like I was just saying to Steve, um, next time I'll definitely go darker, but I think it is good to just do it a little bit lighter to begin with, um, in case I didn't like it. So yeah, just a really subtle little kind of rosy tint. It's definitely like held on the bottom of my hair a lot better than on the top. I think that's obviously because I've got a lot of blonde dye down here and nothing up here. It has tinted it, but just nowhere near as much. But obviously like the tint that I did use is so, so, so subtle. I just don't think it would ever cover the darker bits of my hair, but I do really like it. It's cute. It's just very kind of subtle and summery. But anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up because it really supports my channel. And if you haven't already subscribed, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and ring the bell so you never miss an upcoming video. And until next time, I will see you guys later.